Okay. It's like B week in my life because uh, Postman just dropped off a nice package and it's very cool. Really cool. And I'm going to show you how this is done now. Got a lot of questions about where, where you get your bees, how do you get bees, how do you do bees. I want to get my own bees. Okay, you can buy what's called a package from a, any kind of a beekeeping supply. I happen to use a place called Barnyard Bees down in Georgia. They're known to have very gentle bees, very mild-mannered strains of uh, American honeybee or European honeybees. Well, let's get into this. This is very cool. I'm so very excited. This is a package of bees. It's three pounds of bees. Now, I got this little lady. I don't know who, where she belongs. She might be from my hive from the backyard, but she seems to be very curious what's going on here. So inside here, I have three pounds of bees. Uh, underneath this wooden thing, I'll be taking this apart later. Got a health certificate. Fragile hunted with care. But when you order bees, they literally ship them to your house in a little box. They're around a metal can full of food, and the queen is in a queen cage up in here. I'm gonna take all this apart. I gotta get a, a hive ready. I want to make sure they have a nice little home to be in. So, give me a couple of minutes and we'll get this going. We got bees! It's uh, become bee week here without any kind of design or, ever, or effort. But here we are. Bees. Okay, so we have our little friends here, all the way up from Georgia. And I've taken the packaging off, kept the uh, seal. Okay, I've removed this. This is going to be the hardest part of the whole operation, is actually. This can is full of sugar water to feed the girls while they're in transportation. This is attached to what's called the queen cage, where the highness, her highness is living right now. This is gonna be the hardest part is getting this out. It's not gonna be too hard, it's just a little tricky. And we all, of course, we don't wanna hurt any of the girls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray them down with some sugar water, okay? And what the sugar water does it calms them. You can actually almost see them calming down. They stop buzzing as much. Okay. So now they're like, hey, a little sticky, but this tastes good. So they're cleaning themselves, cleaning each other off. Oh, got a, snoop, got a nosy neighbor from next door coming in, just flew in. You could smell them. All right, so now we're going to work a little bit more on getting this out. And uh, okay. I've taken out the wooden plug. And there's the candy inside there, you can see. Now, they're going to start eating from the inside. And my girls are starting eating from the outside to release her. So let's put her in the car right away. Okay, so let's get this done now. Yeah, guys, suit it up because, let's be honest, I don't know these bees. They don't know me. Let's not take any chances. All right, I got a deep with five frames of drawn comb. There's two schools of thought when entering a new package into a hive. And that's, five, that's uh, three pounds of bees. That's a lot of bees. Um, you can just shake them in and close it all up. Or I'm going to do what's called the gentle method. I've removed frames from the hive. As you can see, they'll fit the box. I'm going to place the box into the hive itself. And I'm going to cover it up. Let them come out on their own. It just seems a little bit uh, a little friendlier. Okay. Let's throw up this relationship in a bad way. Cover on. That's a top feeder. Inside of that thing, I put more sugar water. That's the sugar water they came with. That little can has tiny little holes on it. That's why they're hanging on a little bit. They can crawl up from the inside of the hive into this feeder, actually underneath it, and actually walk around here. I'm going to give them another box for a little privacy for food. So they ain't going to leave right away until they get oriented where they are. I'll add the cover. That there is their top entrance. They can come and go to the top. I've got an entrance reducer in here just because they're not familiar with the area. They can come in and out of there as much as they want. You see they're coming out, these girls are out there orientating themselves to their new surroundings. And uh, we now have a new, through the position, it's now the new Charlie Hive. Thanks for watching. We're starting to look like an apiary again. Uh, some of you are wondering where yesterday's hive is. Yesterday's hive, okay, how this works is they were a new swarm. 
See all the girls flying around and they're just getting, getting used to the area. They are quite, honeybees are naturally curious. So don't, don't swat at them ever. That's what sets them off. They become defensive and that's where people get stung. Most of the time they just want to know who you are. Back to the swarm yesterday. That was a native, we're thinking it's a native, which means a wild bee swarm. Although very, very well tempered. But remember that's a new queen. So we don't know if they're gonna to take to her right away. They may have followed her her call to come out of the hive. Doesn't mean they're necessarily gonna stay with her. So my cousin and I discussed the issue and we felt it was best for them to acclimate a couple miles away to accept that queen to establish themselves. Uh, that hive will be here either tomorrow or Friday. I just want to give them time to take to their queen. Um, I hope this answers a lot of people's questions. I know a lot of you ask a lot of questions and I really like it because uh, it's become my passion and I like the fact that other people find it interesting as well. If there's anything I can help you with, don't, don't be afraid to ask me about bees. I'm going to have to talk about bees just about any time. Uh, like I said, hope you enjoy the new video. We have a new hive. I've gone from one to three in a matter of 24 hours.